Do you know um, what the this the White House and uh, the capital of Arkansas? Right, he went to the White Washington D.C. White House, the, the granite. The granite. You know, all of all of it wasn't built with Arkansas granite, but some of it was. Okay. Part of it. I even had the engines and the air compressor cut to granite. Wow. Yeah, but uh, I done sold it for scrap iron. I knew I wasn't going to never restore them. I had too much to do. That's pretty cool, Lonnie. I think it's a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece. You got a picture of it? Yes, it. I do. This will be on the auction September, or excuse me, October 17th in Brinkley, Arkansas for the Lonnie Cottle Auction. We're going to show you some more engines. There's another one of the Cottle engines that we're going to be selling. It's a steam engine. We're running on air. And this will be October 17th on the Friday. Preview again will be on the 16th and we're going to have a party. Celebrate Lonnie's collection. They'll have these running for you on the 16th and the morning of the 17th. Here's another one of the steam engines that we're going to be selling. And this one ran a sawmill. And Lonnie's got it running for air on us. And uh, this will be October 17th. Listen to that hum. Wow. What town did it come from? Do you remember? Come out of Tennessee. Tennessee in a sawmill. Yeah. Neat. And as hot as it today, imagine working with this. It would have been smooth but hot. It had a boiler hooked on to it. I'm running with compressed air. Okay. How about this? Yep. Totally neat. Look at that governor working. This balanced is all get out. All right. This is our Frick portable power unit. And uh, Lonnie has got it running on air here. This was used for the threshing crew and various jobs. Yeah. 
but this is a Frick portable power unit. We have the Frick threshing machine that goes with it. Will be sold separately, but at the same time. machine but again this will be sold on October 17th in Brinkley Arkansas and this is part of Lonnie Caldwell's collection this is a Frick Eclipse portable power unit we have other large engines and uh, <coughs> tractors projects to beautiful restorations, very rare, unusual engines. And Lonnie's been working and he's got some of these running for us here. Actually, he's got quite a few of them running. said it sounds beautiful. It does. It is, it is a beautiful running engine. Uh, it's a multi-cylinder hit and miss. Got one winch on it and it pulled it. But it worked off a, a tripod of logs or poles. Uh-huh. And it, it pulled a sand bucket. Here we have another steam engine running and this one <laughs> it ran, made bricks up in Missouri. And uh, it's humming along there. Lonnie's got it going. It's running on air. Just clicking along. <laughs> that sounds pretty. Do we need to turn that one a little bit? That one there, that's a, a night, that, that is a, that engine there is 1890, around 1898. Wow. That's what I say about now, what, 1888? Yes. Okay. Sure. This is another engine that will be selling on October 17th. Another steam engine will run on air and it's running a cement mixer. Sounds good. We 
we're going to look at uh, this is the Fairbanks Morris Y series, and uh, they're from 10 to 25 horse. And uh, Lonnie had these all on one truck and went into shows and stole the show. And uh, this is a complete Y series. It's very hard and rare to find. And uh, he was known for his Fairbanks Morse engines. Come over here on the other side. This is the show side on this side over here. This was the show side of the truck. And uh, Lonnie operated the engines off the trailer. And people watched from down below. How long did it take you to find that whole complete series? Oh, I've, I've done it in five years, probably, or six or seven, I don't know. It might have took me seven years to find it. But I bet when you pulled in, you stole the show. Right. When I crank them up, I stole the show. <laughs> and they run like a dog. They run on diesel, don't get the idea they run on butane or anything like that. That's only for start. That's to heat them up with. Uh, but they run on oil, oil and diesel. They're oil engines, is what they are. They run beautiful. If I have time and feel like it, I'll crank them on the evening of the 16th. But if I don't feel good, I won't do it. That makes sense. But I guarantee you they're wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, folks, this is a quick preview of some of the engines on the Lonnie Cottle Collection Auction, October 17th, which is Friday, and come back for the signs and memorabilia on October 18th in Brinkley, Arkansas. For more information, check the website Vanderbrink Auctions with an S.com. If you can't come to the auction, you can bid online at proxybid.com or get us a call at 605 201 7005.